The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me... Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? 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 She's there. How can you know for sure? She's my sister. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Ooh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perkins. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear? Edward? We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way. Just in chase her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful. And beautiful. And so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it, because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Ready? Be careful. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. See you in two shakes. Dear Mr. Harden, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. Betty, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Where are you, Lissy? I'm by the farmhouse.
coming? Just taking a break. Hurry up! Storm's getting closer. Lissy. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? This is starting to creep me out. They might be out fishing. Well, we didn't see any boats, did we? If they are out in the fjord, they'll have to come in soon. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird... Uh... Hello? Hello? Told you. Empty is an empty nest. Um... This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you wanna check out the upstairs? I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide-and-go-seek. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. This is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. 
The flag was at half mast, but no sign of life out there. Look, family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Old Johan's a bit wooden, isn't he? Like someone put a stick They're up his... They're posing for a photograph. His rear end. I say, loosen up, Johan! I'm sure you two stiffs will get along famously. Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't Anna Fretland have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice, please. What can I say? She's a minx. Anna Fretland is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? It must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. I can relate. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. The flag outside was flying at half-mast. What does that mean? <sighs> I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. Wait, is that... Are they... It, who's... They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. We'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Frederick and Johann Fretland, founders of the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. They're the spitting image of each other. Twin brothers and business partners. And they married twin sisters. Adorable. Who's the boy? He looks related to the other two. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the abyss, and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. There was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. He might be the boy in the photograph. Operations were suspended after the accident. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious, like he knew something was about to go awry.
Oof, that's a grim sight, old beam. I'm exhausted. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's... Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just looks like... She bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off. Dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. Lissy. Hmm? Nothing. Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward. Really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Fine. What are you doing? I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... going to... Shh. Elizabeth? Is that you? <sighs> Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? Lissy? Alice? Hello? Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth? Wait! Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Are you... <clears throat> Are you in here, Lissy? Lissy! Are you upstairs? Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? I'm not alone. I can hear you!
Who goes there? Wait! Someone there? Is that you? Are you there, Betty? Shit. Elizabeth, are you there? Lissy. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining, and you were sleeping, and... Our boat, it's gone. The boat... what? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty... It was Betty. I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? I yes. Mean, not. I. I mean, I saw her face and it looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Teddy bear. We'll figure it out. Right now. Let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. <laughs> 